What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I'm going to do my first hitting tutorial of the year. We're going to have several of these throughout the year, so make sure that you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm going to teach you guys how to get better at hitting. You really can improve in this game quickly if you know what you're doing, if you guys have the right settings, the right approach at the plate. You really can get a lot better at this game a lot quickly, or very quickly. And uh, personally, um, I've been in the top 50 in MLB The Show 19. I've been playing for a very long time. Uh, I play in the eSports events as well. So um, you guys can set up, you know, you can set up however you would like to set up. Personally, though, um, these are, in my opinion, the best settings for hitting. Uh, you're going to want to use the strike zone view. And the reason you don't want to use the strike zone view over something like fisheye, I think might be like the default of what it is. The reason you want to use the strike zone view is because you're going to be able to see the ball a lot better and uh the the ball itself is going to be a lot there's going to be so many more pixels for you to see you know if you're on fish eye the baseball itself is about like let's just say for the sake of example it's like 10 pixels compared to when you're in strike zone view the baseball itself is like 60 pixels so you can see it way better and also your pci is a lot bigger um definitely you're gonna want to hit with zone you're gonna wanna move the zone to the ball and hit the ball by doing that and by using buttons as well zone and buttons is definitely the way to go now the pci plate coverage indicator you can set this up however you're the most comfortable with i've been using diamonds and wedge i use basic you can sell whatever color you want i'm using spring green for right now uh pci transparency i went with 50 percent, and i want the outer to fade out as i hit what we're mostly going to talk about in this video is an approach at the plate an approach is extremely extremely important uh what do i mean by approach um it's basically the way that you're going to well literally approach every at bat and you never want to waste an at bat um this is going to give you a really really good way of being able to hit well so one of the first things that i like to do or that i like to do when i'm up at the plate is you can set your PCI in a lot of different spots, okay? You can set it in a variety of spots that can, uh, you know, I, I pr but I'm going to tell you where I like to set mine. So let me, um, I'm going to plug in a second controller because we need to talk a little bit. Uh, I, I don't need him throwing a bunch. Actually, it'll be fine. Just have him throw some pitches. Um, you can start it like up and inside. You know, that's like where Pitching Rebel starts his, one of the best players in the world. He starts it up and inside. You can start at middle in. Um, you start at middle in, kind of take away the inside part of the plate. You can start it down and in, or down and away, I should say, and kind of really be taking away the low and outside half and getting under the ball and hitting the ball like that. But personally, guy, it, there's a, there's another thing that you can do to help your tracking too is you can put the PCI like right where the pitcher's release point is, and uh, you know you can kind of track the ball out of the pitcher's hand. That tends to work as well. But personally, what I like to do and what I think is the best is just to leave it right in the middle. Um, just leaving it right in the middle, in my opinion, is the best because it really helps you watch the ball out of the pitcher's hand. And it, if you're playing a bunch of games, you don't have the fatigue of having to move it over like to a certain spot a whole bunch of times. You just kind of keep it in the middle and you can react. And it really lets you, you know, it really lets you cover the entire uh, part of the plate too like no one can pitch you outside they can't pitch you inside they can't pitch you low they can't pitch you high you're just right in the middle and then you just move it to it and react and you're going to be smashing the ball um within no time so let me talk to you guys about my approach more um basically what i'm looking to do in that bat is until i have two strikes i'm basically looking for the pitch to be right down the middle and that's another good part about having my PCI right in the middle is I'm looking at the ball out of the pitcher's hands and I'm waiting for the ball. Or I'm waiting for the pitcher to throw it down the middle. Uh, if I don't have two strikes, you know, that I'm really ahead in, until I have two strikes. Uh, honestly, you really are ahead in that situation. And um, you can wait for pitches right down the middle. Like I definitely should have taken that pitch, but I'm more so once you guys to listen to my commentary than pay attention to the gameplay right now. Um, so until he, th I'm looking for it right down the middle. If I have two strikes then I'm going to go into protect mode. So if it's a good pitch right down the middle, I'm going to smash it. 
Uh, if it's a pitch, let's say it's like uh, I'm looking. I'm always looking fastball too. Uh, let's say I'm looking fastball. I'm looking fastball, and they get I get caught up, and it's still kind of down the middle, but it's a curveball. But I'm not perfectly on time with it. Just kind of like that situation, even right there. Just let the pitch go, even if it's a strike. You got two strikes to work with. Um, drawing walks is also really, really good because what it's going to do is it's going to make your online opponent, you know, know that you have a good eye, and it's going to force them to throw pitches in the zone. And you kind of got to, you kind of got to read like, is this a person that's having trouble hitting the zone? Are they trying to pitch around you? You know, think about situations and stuff like that as well. That's really important to do. Uh, but I love keeping it in the middle. That's definitely what I love doing the most right now. Another thing with strike zone to keep in mind too is it's a lot like IRL. Like picture yourself in a real game or like stepping into the batting cage and like that kind of perspective where, you know, your hands are just right there and you're stepping into the cage. That's another advantage of strike zone. It's really like being at the plate yourself IRL. You know, you got this huge huge icons to use you know you just like right at the plate yourself and it's just a it's a great way to go about hitting i love using the strike zone view um so let's talk about the pitcher's release point and how you're going to track the ball you know you're going to want to track the ball out of the pitcher's hand uh maybe we'll go into a replay mode here but i'm always looking at the pitcher's release point and then i'm following with my eyes the point of the ball um and where it's traveling and which I, I don't know if we got a replay in here or not, but uh, I might do this in uh, the post editing. I'm basically looking for the, you know, you're going to get, as you look through, or as you look at the ball through, as it comes out of the pitcher's hand, you're really going to start to, you're really going to start to see like the patterns of when it's going to be a strike. It's just like that. You're kind of going to get, going to see like a lane, so to speak of where the ball is going. And uh, it's going to really help you decide if it's a ball or a strike. Just follow it with your eyes out of the pitcher's hand. And as it starts to get into that groove where you can tell it's going right down the middle, then you're going to be able to you know, tell if it's a, a ball or a strike very easily and be able to hit it. So that's, I, I think that sounds kind of like, um, that's kind of like a heavy way to explain it. But it's something that I really, really do is I'm following the ball right out of the pitcher's hand. And I'm recognizing the flight of the ball out of the pitcher's hand and recognizing if it's going to be down the middle based on like the first couple of feet out of the pitcher's hand with the as as it leaves the pitcher's hand i can tell the trajectory of the ball you know what pitch it's going to be and where it's going to be like if it's starting here and then i can tell it's going way inside or way way outside or way inside you know just you want to follow the ball out of the pitcher's hand um as best as you can and look for those lanes it's you're going to be able that's going to really help you with uh deciding whether or not it's a strike or a ball. So I really hope that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't make sense, uh, I'm trying to explain it the best that I can. So I hope that it does make sense. But uh, if it doesn't make sense, I am I can try to explain it better down in the comments below or on my streams. If you guys want to watch me stream, twitch.tv backslash movie gaming TV. I'm always playing on there and I'm always happy to give out tips over there. So that's pretty much my approach to hitting, you know, uh, look down the middle until two strikes uh make sure that if i'm uh st even when i have two strikes i still i'm still like um i will take a strike if i'm not if my timing is not going to be perfect because they threw an off speed that i wasn't ready for look for the fastball uh keep it in the middle and just react and make it's going to keep your eyes on the ball you definitely want to watch the ball watching the ball is super super important if you ever get into a slump just start watching the ball and even consider taking to two strikes and keep in mind, for a lot of people, it's not easy for them just to throw a ton of strikes, to hit their meter perfectly and throw a ton of strikes. So keep that in mind, too. You know, uh, it's it's always difficult on the other side for someone pitching to throw, like, a bunch of dots. So make sure that, uh, I don't know, you really just want to be smashing the ball in the middle of the plate. That That's the key. I mean, that's the key is when they throw it down the middle of the plate, you're just absolutely crushing it, and you crush mistakes. That'll make you an absolute beast hitter in MLB The Show. Um, I, I don't know. I love hitting. It's probably my favorite thing to do in MLB The Show is hitting home runs. I just love hitting home runs. So that's uh, that, that's definitely a lot of fun for me. And uh, I hope it is for you. And I hope this video help you guys, helps you guys out a little bit with your hitting. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any other questions. 
I can try to help you out the best I can. And thank you guys so much for watching. Let's see if we can get one more hit here. Uh, no, we didn't. <laughs> I'm going to try for one more. Let's try for a perfect, perfect, man. I need a perfect, perfect. This, let's try to end on one. Oh, I was way early. I was so early. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill. I'm going to chill. Oh, uh, so I was too early again. That's a, that's a just early squared up. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. More tutorials to come. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you get more of these tutorials in the future. We got so much MLB The Show content on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.